three, two, one, go! Without further ado, let me talk about a part-time job I'd love to have abroad. To be perfectly honest with you, I want to be a waiter. I mean, the job has something to do with waiting tables, cleaning, and serving or talking to customers. I'm thinking about doing it in Canada, maybe somewhere in the heart of the city, because it would be a perfect location for me to develop stronger language skills, adapt to a new culture, and meet new friends. It would be nice if it's some local fast food place downtown or a popular restaurant. I hope to do this for at least six months to a year. Actually, I've heard about this from a friend of mine who had an internship in Canada. I remember he did some accounting jobs out there. In my case, I don't want to do something so serious like that. And also, my visa will only allow a certain amount of work hours, so I think a service job would fit me well. I presume I became interested in this because I really wanted to experience living abroad while independently supporting myself. At the same time, I'm thrilled to speak fluently in a foreign language, like a native speaker. I know it won't be cupcakes and rainbows, and I have to learn the ropes of the service industry like wearing a smile regularly. But I will put my best foot forward to achieve this goal. It will be a blast. I guess you could say that this is a short-term job I want to do abroad. What kind of work can young people do in foreign countries? In my perspective, I think it has something to do with service jobs. What I mean is that young people are only allowed a very limited number of jobs they can do abroad due to their visa. For instance, they can work as a waiter or a bar staff. What's more, they can be a kitchen helper or do something that fits their skills. What kind of work can young people do in foreign countries? Most of the time, young people can do customer service related jobs abroad. It's because these are generally low level jobs they can be qualified for. Let's say they can work in a hotel as a bellboy or room service crew. It's also possible for them to become a call center agent if they have high level language skills.
What kind of work can young people do in foreign countries? In general, these are on-campus jobs because universities give international students a chance to earn extra cash while studying. What I mean is that they can work in the cafeteria or library. Actually, there's a tough competition for these jobs, so they'd better be ready for interviews. What kind of work can young people do in foreign countries? Most likely, young people can do internship jobs overseas. For the fact that there are companies accepting global talents. Well, we can say that students who are finishing a degree in fashion can get an internship in Paris. At the same time, those with specialized skills can always find a company or a firm abroad who will accept them as a trainee. What kind of work can young people do in foreign countries? I think volunteer jobs are common for young people. Mainly because there are non-profit organizations who are looking for volunteers and the age requirement usually falls around theirs. From what I've heard, the jobs have something to do with humanitarian works like feeding the poor and teaching the kids. However, it's a non-paying job. So, it's only advisable for people who are not looking for an extra income, but just want to help others. Is it good for young people to have the experience of living in other countries? As far as I'm concerned, I think it's really good for them. For the reasons that it would make them globally competitive and open-minded. Come to think of it, having the experience of living somewhere in America or Canada will make them become very independent and ready for all sorts of challenges. Aside from that, they will have a broader horizon and perspective which will be useful for their future career. Is it good for young people to have the experience of living in other countries? The way I see it, I'm convinced that it's really good for them to have such an experience. It's because they'll have a deeper understanding of cultural diversity and develop stronger foreign language skills. Let's say those teenagers who've experienced living in China can take advantage of its rich heritage and culture. What's more, their ability to talk in Chinese will be very useful for travel or career purposes as Chinese communities are everywhere in the world now. Is it good for young people to have the experience of living in other countries? In my belief, I don't think it's a good idea because it would just confuse young people. What I'm trying to say is that they were used to an entirely different culture. So when they get back to their home country, they will be confused about the differences. 
Plus, they might start comparing cultures and end up hating their own. Is it good for young people to have the experience of living in other countries? In my opinion, I believe it's not good at all. Since whatever they've learned abroad won't be useful back in their country. What I mean is that every country has a distinct cultural identity, which means the foreign ideas they've learned will make them an outcast in their own country. At the same time, they will have to adapt back to their own culture, or else they won't fit well. Why are some people unwilling to work in other countries? I think the reason behind this is the language barrier. For the fact that working abroad requires people to have a certain level of foreign language proficiency and it takes a very long time to achieve. That being said, the language barrier will affect people's productivity and work performance. Needless to say, it will create miscommunication in a messy work environment. Why are some people unwilling to work in other countries? I'm utterly convinced that this has something to do with homesickness. Mainly because they'll have to live far away from their family, which means they'll feel so blue working abroad. Come to think of it, if they work in Australia, even if they can communicate online with their loved ones, they still have to deal with the time difference. All things considered, it would be hard for them to maintain regular communication with their family or friends because of the distance, and that's when homesickness kicks in. Why are some people unwilling to work in other countries? I personally believe this is because some of them are afraid to try it. Let's say working abroad is very demanding as you have to adapt to a new environment, become independent, and use a different language. Generally speaking, people are afraid to try something new because it means they have to go out of their comfort zone. Why are some people unwilling to work in other countries? In most cases, the primary reason is that they already have a successful career in their country. Thus, working abroad is not any more necessary. For example, managers or high-level officials of some companies won't risk their current jobs just to venture into another country. Aside from that, those who are working for the government will never sacrifice their jobs because of the security and stability that they already have.
What's the difference between working in an international company and working in a domestic one? I reckon the major difference is that working in international companies has bigger welfare benefits because of the huge resources and profits of these companies, so they reward their employees handsomely. While working in domestic ones can be very fun, since people know each other very well and they consider each other as a family. What's the difference between working in an international company and working in a domestic one? In my perspective, the biggest difference between them is personal development and growth. On the one hand, working in global companies provide you opportunities for job movement within the organization, as they expect you to grow within their company, so they provide career training and education. On the other hand, working in local companies is more focused on specific skills because employees have a very limited function, so they can improve their abilities in no time. What's the difference between working in an international company and working in a domestic one? As far as I'm concerned, the difference is something to do with work flexibility. What I mean is that working in a global company allows their employees to work at their own pace and time as long as they can deliver the desired results and that leads to happier, healthier and more productive employees. While working locally follows a rigorous schedule and employees are also required to work overtime to finish a task, making people dedicated to their work. What's the difference between working in an international company and working in a domestic one? In my opinion, the greatest difference between the two of them is that working in global companies will let you continually meet new people, learn about different cultures, and expand your understanding of other people. On the other hand, working in domestic companies enables people to apply their own culture, build a deeper relationship with their co-workers and do things without a hassle as they don't need to use a different language. Woo! <laughs>